Porter, executive chef of Rose Rabbit Lie, Wesley Holton. Next, we have the owner of Naked City Pizza, Chris Palmieri. Tonight's Advantage Challenge is called Wrap and Roll. You will show us a brand new twist on the Vietnamese dish, the summer roll. The first thing that comes to mind is I'm going to grab avocado, and then I saw some bacon bits. So I thought, what better pairing than bacon and avocado? Everybody loves bacon. My plan is to julienne vegetables, the cucumber, the carrots, and then the shrimp and the mushrooms to make it a savory filling, a little bit of sriracha sauce. Chris's summer roll was definitely executed a lot better. He had all sorts of different textures. He had the makings of an amazing summer. Chris, I'm going to have to give this one to you. In the appetizer round, you will have to create an appetizer that highlights the single ingredient in our stash fridge. Rattlesnake. So my plan is to pair this rattlesnake with lobster and to do it with a fresh salad. A rattlesnake loin with a little bit of brown butter roasted lobster and a fresh salad with celery and ponzu. I don't think you need a lobster. We really want to see the rattlesnake to be kind of the star of the plate. I'm going to make a rattlesnake fritter. And then I'm going to present a chicken wing, some kind of classic and new on the same dish. Chop off the celery and the carrots and begin to make our fritter in a bowl, mixing the diced rattlesnake meat and the vegetables, egg yolk, flour, salt, pepper, parsley, until it gets a nice fritter consistency. A little bit of hot sauce. It's called a hot Sicilian sauce. So it's hot sauce, garlic, uh, lemon, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, parsley. It's fried well. I, I mean, I love the texture on the outside. The rattlesnake dish that slithered into my heart was good old dirty buffalo style fritter. For the final entree challenge, you will have to create a dish that highlights the two new ingredients in our stash fridge. Kangaroo and farro. My plan is to treat the farro as the pasta, and we're going to treat the kangaroo as the pancetta in the dish. It's dark looking meat. I'll be able to use it like I would use the pork for the carbonara dish. Marinate the kangaroo with a little bit of the saffron, add a little bit of celery and carrots and celery leaf, and then I love a fried egg right on the top of it. And then I got a little bit of ch crispy chicken skin over the top just for texture. Just a little too much use of saffron. Farrow was a tough call, but I cooked it till its fullest extent. And then I made it creamy with a little bit of potato, butter, and celery. And then the kangaroo, I roasted on the plancha, let it rest, sliced it very thin, and then just put a little fresh celery on top. Your kangaroo is cooked to perfection. Both Judge Chris and Spike felt that the best entree of the night was prepared by Chef Wesley Holt.